Hurricane Milton slammed into the west coast of Florida as a Category 3 storm late Wednesday, bringing maximum sustained winds of 205 kilometers per hour and inciting an onslaught of tornadoes. There have been 38 preliminary eyewitness reports of tornadoes in Florida since Wednesday night. According to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration Storm Prediction Center, according to other reports as many as 126 warnings, the state sees 50 tornadoes on average total in a whole year. The number confirmed is expected to rise over the coming days as damaged sites are assessed. Milton death toll rises to at least 16 people as of today. ICNA Relief's disaster relief team has been active. They have been monitoring the storm closely for a few days, all the while preparing contingency planning. Here are some on the ground assessment reports. As all of you aware, last night we had um, Hurricane uh, Milton who hit uh, Fort Pierce in a way that uh, we were, were not expecting. We were thinking uh, the Tampa and uh, Orlando area will, will hit by the, uh, the hurricane with uh, heavy rain and heavy wind but Fort Spears got hit by seven uh, tornadoes, and we have a uh, huge uh, community got affected by the tornado. Uh, we have almost uh, 3.4 million people in Florida without power right now, and uh, many, many uh, people, those who live in Fort Pierce and surrounding area, they got affected by uh, this tornado, and we are aware of some uh, community members and uh, the, the community, those who are affected by it, we are here to help support whatever way is possible. Our uh, major concern is people, those who are not able to cook anymore. So we are bringing a lot of food with us, hygiene kit with us.